the latest updates from the PNA newsroom. President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. orders the transfer of Tesla from the Department of Trade and Industry to the Department of Labor and Employment. Marcos signed Executive Order No. 5 today highlighting the importance of rationalizing the functions of government agencies that have complementary mandates. Marcus said the transfer of Tesla to the Labor Department would promote coordination, efficiency, and organizational coherence in the bureaucracy. The order states that the agency's structure and salary standardization will remain, and the Labor Secretary will also remain as a chairperson of the Tesla board. Tesla's current Secretary General is Danilo Cruz. The Health Department says the end of COVID-19 pandemic is near. Yet the public must not be complacent as the virus is here to stay. In a press briefing, DOH officer in charge Maria Rosario Verhere underscored the need to further strengthen the country's healthcare system and the immunity of the Filipinos. She said the country must continue its testing efforts, maintain clinical management, vaccinate more of the target population, and implement continuous risk communication to the people, as recommended by the World Health Organization. Octo Research Fellow Dr. Guido David, meanwhile, reported a decline in COVID-19 cases in the different parts of the country except for Metro Manila, Bulacan, Rizal, Pangasinan, and Cavite, which noted an uptick in cases. David said amid the easing of a face mask rule, more Filipinos showed their preference to still continue to wear it. And the big aspect of this is what David calls personal responsibility. In a survey, 60 to 70 percent of the Filipinos still want to continue wearing face masks for protection. The country's third monkeypox case completed home isolation on September 8 and has now fully recovered. Department of Health officer in charge Maria Rosario Verjera said the case was certified recovered by a doctor and the 17 close contacts completed their quarantine period with no symptoms. Meanwhile, the four cases has been discharged from the hospital on September 15. 19 of the four cases, 20 close contacts have completed their quarantine period and were all asymptomatic. The other close contact, the relative who took care of the patient, has just begun home quarantine. Verjera said the DOH cannot be certain that there is no local transmission of monkeypox because not everybody is tested for it and not all individuals suffering from it symptoms go to health facilities for testing. A reminder for those traveling around Metro Manila this weekend, motorists are advised to look for alternate routes as several natural road sections will undergo repairs. The Department of Public Works and Highways said the repairs will start at 11 p.m. today. In Quezon City, the repairs will cover parts of EDSA northbound from Santol and MRT Station as the southbound including in front of GMA Network Building, Fairview Avenue southbound, Fairview Avenue northbound, Clover Leaf northbound, Purino Highway and Roosevelt Avenue. In Manila, repair works will cover the southbound outer lane of Melopez Boulevard, fronting North Harbor Center Gate 2 to Vitas Bridge. Portions of C5 in Makati and Pasig will also undergo similar repairs. The DBWH advised motorists to take alternate routes due to possible traffic buildup near the construction areas. The affected road lanes will be fully passable on September 19 at 5 a.m. That's the latest and the biggest stories from the PNA Newsroom. I am Stephanie Savoliano. Good day.